Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Stories 2. And in this one, I will give you a chance to take a look at some co-op gameplay. Now that we're getting incredibly close to the launch of the game, of course, if you guys haven't had a chance to check out our review discussion, then myself, 269 and Paradise Central all sat down and spoke about all the things we're enjoying about the game, everything like that. So if you want to sort of get a feel for what it has to offer, definitely check that out. But now that we're close to launch, and now that of course we've seen it in the most recent live stream, I thought I'd give you a chance to take a look at some co-op gameplay. This is me and 269 playing together, just a sort of early on mission, nothing sort of uh, too fancy, both of us running with uh, you know some early game monsters. And uh, in this one, we're of course gonna be fighting against a Mizutsune, and this is uh, pretty cool. So just to kind of give you some context as to sort of what you can expect from multiplayer in this game, you have both co-op and PvP stuff. Now, if you've played Monster Hunter Stories 1, you'll be familiar with PvP. Similar sort of thing in this one, in that, of course, you can set up lobbies, you can go in and you can battle your monsters, you can battle them using a balance mode, which kind of, of course, levels out your team. Or you can, of course, just use your, you know, fully spec team. Then on the flip side, the new stuff in Stories 2 are the co-op expeditions, and these take kind of various different forms. Some of them are just like regular slay quests in that you will have a target that you need to defeat. And of course, when you load into it, you load into an area that you can explore. Now, it's important to note that this is not complete freedom around the world. You don't just party up and then roam the entire world together. You do have to load into specific expeditions that you will of course choose from the board but in doing so you then kind of roam around the area there will be other monsters there that you can fight but you then get to your target monster you have the battle once you defeated it you can then pick up an egg from the nest and you can leave there are some timed missions or timed expeditions whereby it's sort of a fighting smaller monsters but you need to battle a number of them and you also just have regular expeditions where the focus is more so about just exploring looking for various different nests getting various different eggs and kind of just sort of collecting them if you want to sort of bolster your team. So there are different things you can do and of course as you progress throughout the game you will unlock more expeditions so you'll unlock the actual multiplayer aspect of this relatively early on in the game however as you progress further you unlock more expeditions higher level expeditions better expeditions so of course as you sort of get towards the uh, the latter part of the game then you'll want to be doing this more because a it's just fun it's a multiplayer thing and also b it gives you an opportunity to get some cool items that you'll use later on in the game again i'm not going to speak about end game or anything like that just yet but it is fair to say that the co-op expedition side of things is definitely going to have a bigger role to play it is not just one of those sort of tacked on side activities it is 100 something you want to be investing some time into and it's just a lot of fun i mean again as i sort of mentioned in the review discussion it would have been nice if it was just like roam the open world together but still we are of course as most other players very familiar with the concept of you know put up a quest team up together go on your quest it's very much like that so it's not exactly alien to us and uh, it still works very well for the format that it's in you know when you load into an expedition you can of course explore and you know fight together do different things like that and then once you get into the battles you can of course then uh, you know get involved in those and just having the sort of strategy to be able to sort of speak to your teammate and sync up and sort of do all your like synced team kinship moves things like that it's a lot of fun but for the time being, I'm just going to leave you guys with a little bit of preview gameplay just so you can see what, uh, you know, see what these sort of co-op missions play out with uh, me and 269. And again, if you guys have got any questions or things that you would like to see, definitely let us know in the comments down below. And do keep it locked because we've got plenty of stories content coming your way over the next few weeks and whatnot. So uh, you definitely don't want to miss it.
you want to catch more from us at Arix Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch, and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.